Percentage, rate, and base. Percent word problems have three elements, namely percentage, rate, and base. Percentage is the part of the base determined by the rate, the result obtained when a number is multiplied by a percent. It is a number found before or after the word is. Rate is the number of hundred spots taken. This is the number followed by the percent sign. Base is the total number or the whole on which the rate operates. The base is usually preceded by the word of in a given statement because it is being multiplied by the rate. Identifying the three elements, such as the percentage, rate, and base, is essential in solving percent problem. Example, 56 is 50% 50 of 112. Analyzing the number sentence, since 56 is only half of 112, as suggested by the given percent, therefore, 56 is only part of the total number, which is 112. Take note that it has also the word is beside it. So, it is called percentage. 50%, which is a certain percent of a number and has always a percent sign, is called rate. Meanwhile, 112, which is the whole or the total number, and has the word of, is called base. Activity. Identify the missing element as percentage, rate, and base. Number 1. 30% of blank is 36. There is a word of before the blank, so the answer is base. Number 2. 72 is blank percent of 96. There is a percent sign beside the blank, so it is the rate. Number 3. Blank is 80% of 180. The word is is right after the blank, so the answer is percentage. Number 4. 32% of 88 is blank. The word is is just beside the blank. So the answer is called percentage. Number 5. 25% is 33 of blank. The word of is just beside the blank. So the answer is base. Finding the missing element in percent problem. Problem 1. Tyron has a daily allowance of 300 pesos. He saves 15% of it and uses the rest for his daily expenses. How much is his savings? To find the answer, identify the given number and the elements. Given here are 300 pesos, which is the total allowance, and so it is the base. 15%, which is the percent taken, and the one with percent sign is the rate. And the missing amount of savings, which is represented by the variable n, is the percentage, since this amount is a part only of the total allowance of 300 pesos. The use of the PRB triangle will help you remember and solve for the missing element. Take note of the letters represented by the elements as well as the position of these letters in the PRB triangle. P is above R and B, while R and B is beside each other. So to find the rate, use rate equals percentage over base or percentage divided by base. To find the base, use base equals percentage over rate or percentage divided by rate. And to find the percentage, use percentage equals rate times base, 
since the rate and base are beside each other. Going back with the missing element, using the PRB triangle, the formula would be percentage equals rate times base. For the solution, step one is to assign numbers for the given formula. So percentage equals 15% times 300. Take note that rate must be changed to decimal. So changing 15% to decimal, just divide 15 by 100, or you may simply move the decimal point twice to the left. So 15% is 15 hundredths in decimal. Step 2. 15 hundredths times 300. Multiplying this, the percentage is 45, or 45 pesos, which is Tyron's daily savings. To find the percentage, number one, use percentage equals rate times base. Number two, change rate to decimal by dividing it by 100 or by moving the decimal point two places to the left before multiplying it with the base. Problem two. Virgie has read 31 pages, which is equivalent to 25% of the total pages of book. How many pages is the book? Given in the problem are 31 pages, which is considered as the percentage since this is not the total pages. 25% which is the rate because of percent sign, and N as the missing total pages as the base. Since the base is missing, so the formula is base equals percentage over rate or percentage divided by rate. Following the formula, step one is to assign numbers for the number sentence. So base equals 31 divided by 25%. Take note that rate must be changed to decimal. Changing 25% to decimal is 25 hundredths. Step two is base equals 31 divided by 25 hundredths. So the base is 124, which is the total pages of book. To find the base, number one, use base equals percentage over rate or percentage divided by rate. Number two, change rate to decimal by dividing it by 100 or by moving the decimal point two places to the left before dividing it with the percentage. Problem three, the virtual program on National Children's Month celebration was attended by 72 girls and 48 boys. What percent of the program are boys? Given in the problem are 72 girls and 48 boys, which are both percentage. 120, which is the total attendees, is the base. And N percent, which is the missing percent of boys, will be the rate. Using the PRB triangle, the formula in finding the rate is rate equals percentage over base or percentage divided by base. And for the solution, step one is to assign numbers for the given formula. So rate equals 48 divided by 120 equals 40 hundredths. Take note that since we are looking for the rate, which must have a percent sign, change the decimal 40 hundredths to percent or rate. Step 2. In changing 40 hundredths to rate, multiply the decimal by 100 or simply move the decimal point two places to the right. So that would be rate equals 40 hundredths times 100. So the missing rate is 40%, which is the rate for boys. To find the rate, Number one, 
use rate equals percentage over base or percentage divided by base. Number two, change the decimal answer to rate by multiplying it by 100 or by moving the decimal point two places to the right and put the percent sign. Number three, 